What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I want to welcome you guys back to NBA 2K20, my career. We are moving on. Got a game against the Raptors. My team, Kawhi-less, but they're pretty good. I'm not too upset. Anyway, let's go to the neighborhood, see what's new, and get into this bad boy. All right, that's us. We are in Toronto, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to skip this a little bit. Thanks for joining. We are new. For a long time, the Raptors and the game is going. Sorry, bro. You're right. It's going to be interesting to see how and it's going to go here and some of the numbers for him. And if you measure a player's effectiveness, why don't they ever say my assist, name? He's been for very him effective for that lately. player. Look at his assists in the last ten games compared to the rest of the season. He's in the midst of a great run. And the Clippers starting five. Well, let's do this, stars, guys. George and Leonard fill up These the little random slots. animations. Then it's Montrez Harrell. Then it's Williams. And it's Quinn in at the point guard. And for Toronto, Lowry and Powell, the guards. Oh, See Kawhi. Power forward with Gasol at center. And it's Johnson in at the three. I was trying to get open, but. This time of the year, we hear uh, early talk about end of the season. Weird, weird shot right when there. It's you're forced. thinking about who you'd vote for MVP or whatever, Doris. Uh, Ooh, foul. Giving consideration Look at me all hype I am for whatever what's reason. What's fascinating, Kevin, is where all the major awards are considered, particularly the MVP, it feels like there's a narrative that develops back when the season starts. The key as a Come voter on, Kawhi, let's go, is buddy. to sort of eliminate the Money. noise, look at the numbers, consider the success of teams, and make your decision from there. You've got to make sure you're really doing your research. And sometimes, am I right, it comes down to the final couple days of the regular season before a voter like yourself knows for sure. Kev, I have cast my MVP ballot on the last... Oh, get the board. Look at that. ...each of the last three years. Oh, why would it do that animation? Here's Gasol. I can't get past oh, Harold. That's stupid. With that one. Now one for two. Wow, I hate those stupid animations. Kyle Lowry creates for his teammates one of the best setup men in the entire league. I wish he would run the floor there, but here's Quinn. Now recovering. Tries it from nine. That's got to be money. That's too oh, easy. See, Lowry and I are the same he height, so the off we can at least guard the him a little bit better. One of three from the field With that, oh, there they go, so steal. Loads it up there for Harold. Oh, that was nice. He pulls off the Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley oop. I love it. I was hoping he'd run the floor. Outside Lowry. Siakam outside. Outside Gasol. Oh, he won't make that. Sinks the triple. What? Gasol's got his second bucket of the night. Okay. I love the catch and shoot game. Mark Gasol, so much confidence in that area. Here's Quinn. George trying to break free. See, he's and not taller ball. than me, like I said, so Good I can actually take him pretty easily. Game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And you know this, Greg. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Now here is Lowry. Oh, that was really late. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Bulls in Chicago. Well, get to that sweet spot. Nice mid-range jumper by Kyle Lowry. So effective. There you go. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right Just there? Just beat Lowry. Not too right. bad. Really easy. Raptors trail by three. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Lowry has the open look. A three it's no off good. The mark. For the Raptors, they come in off the loss to the Bulls in Chicago. Quinn passes to Harrell. What the That's hell was that, Harrell? Oh, Strip stripped. Away. I got it back. Here's Quinn, who's guarded by Johnson. Here's Quinn over Johnson. Ah. On the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. A little bit taller than me. The defense Here's was. Lowry. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Some guys, Kevin, just have a knack to get to the cup. Kyle Lowry Sorry, guys. is all about being aggressive Dusting my headphones. and Out left to the wing. Bounce pass, Harold. Releases. 
the shot by Quinn. No it good. was on the line. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Look at Lou. Good. Oh! Shot of the game. Good job, Lou. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Oh, oh, did I get it? I did get it. And trading for Kawhi Leonard last season, Doris. Great talent for Ryan in Toronto. But this past summer, I would have loved it. But. Move on. but Kevin, a championship makes the gamble worthwhile if you were Toronto. For Kawhi, any team he plays on is going to have a chance to win. Wow, and we're just getting rid man, of everything they've got. Starts a new chapter. Come on, boy. Here's oh, that could have been stolen. He had a 36 point outing All right, Timmy. against the Bulls in Chicago. And he also chipped in with a couple blocks in that game. Just a oh, what a pass. He had on the defensive side. And plays like that, that was awesome. Paul George's athletic I saw him running He's the floor in the back in the baseline scorer. there. He is a high flyer. Now, here's Lowry. Right now, checking his stats, he's averaging over 23 points a game. From deep three I don't know range, about that, Lau Lau. It's the Clippers with the rebound. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. And the last time these two met. Oh, man. I'll do this all day. Because of all day, baby. Production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll oh, see oh, the oh, I thought I got a reach for a minute. I'm like, what? I barely Every touched it. it seems to be different. So timeout called here. The first great for start Toronto. for me. A lot of switching on every possession in the NBA from a defensive standpoint. And you see the way Doris offenses are adjusting to that. Yeah, I think number one, you have to attack the switch. That's first and foremost. And it's an interesting balance between attacking and being patient. Just cut so off the pass. That's it. Ultimately oh, what a pass. Every see, what is that? Is favorable matchup That's some baloney is what That's it is. That was ours. Thinking guard who knows where to find and put the ball is so. I can't believe we didn't get the recovery. That was my steal. That's a good way to look at. Just four to shoot. Here's That's a bad three. And again, Toronto, no luck. Bad pass. Oh, I got lucky. The shot by George, no good. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Oh, get that filth out of here. Rejection by Harold. It's Powell on the wing. Defended by Beverly. Powell kicks to Lowry. I'm there. No good. Unable to end this run. And so Beverly will bring it up for the last Oh, nice little Tommy. A big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. Love it, man. If the defense does not adjust. This could be a blowout. A lot more dunks because of that. This is it to want to know. Now, Siakam. Defended by George. The pass to Gasol. Oh, what a spin and it's move. Good for two. Gasol's got seven points. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great. Oh, what a dunk. Excellent so far. Coming in with a well balanced attack. No doubt, Greg. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. Here's Powell and the dunk by Powell. Yeah, they just let him walk in. In attack mode, he is hard to stop. Clippers leading by nine. Here's Quinn. He's coming off an unbelievably high scoring game. Oh, man, come on. Here's on an open, defended by George. The oh, he made it. Gasol. And he is really we still have a solid lead on him. Right now, playing and scoring with confidence. In the corner, Harold. Oh, again, the the that sucks. I can't believe that. I was going to get turned up, but I wanted to pass out of it. You'd think he'd still be able to catch it, you know? It wasn't that off. Here's Quinn. 
Good. Nice. And the assist goes to Murray. Nice and simple. He's got 16. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. So for the Clippers right now, Green is oh, out wow. there with Murray. Then it's Williams. It's Kevin Kelly in at the five down low. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Win. There you go. Good for all the basket. Day. Number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. 82% from the field. Touches. Obaka finds Van Vliet. Oh, get that filled out of here. What a block. Hard work on the glass. Once again, guys. All day. I'm just standing up here. And focus on the backboard. Too easy. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very oh, that was a, okay. quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Kyle Lowry. He's checked in for the Raptors. And then for Los Angeles. Leonard comes in for Jermichael Green. And it's Paul George in for Murray. I don't know about that. And the Raptors miss again. Weird Not choice sure of a shot. What, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Here's Quinn and the reach. Oh man, but I got it back. Baca. Boy, still a Gotta get out of here. Shot blocker. That is what got Sergi Baca playing time at the beginning of his career. Nice. Oh, I'm making. Goes down. Oh my God. Quinn's got the lead up. I can't believe it. Got a couple of rebounds along, right there. They've gotten more and more aggressive on the back. Line. Oh man. Two free throws coming that was up. awesome Officials though. On the call with the foul. How great the Clippers signing of Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, the grand finale of the wildest summer in NBA free agent history. A, a ton of big moves. You think of the star players who've changed teams, one third of the league's all NBA selections, and five out of ten of the reigning all star starters. In the end, we saw seven players who've changed teams signing for over $100 million each. Put that in perspective. Only eight players had ever done that in league history. Norman Powell's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. And the Clippers with How did I not get two. that? Harrell's checked in. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. We're too little, man. The switch is bad. Toronto was able to win the NBA championship was the astronomical improvement from Pascal Siakam. He was recognized as the Another board for most me. improved player. It was the dream of Pascal's late father that he If he sunk that, level. I'd be baffled. And his determination to make that reality has brought him a long way from home. Kevin? It has indeed, D.A. Great story, and thank you. All right, you. Kawhi, send it, bud. Boy, you think back to the quadriceps injury that derailed almost all of the 2018 season for Kawhi Leonard. I'll tell you, he is back to peak form and reminding us that he is elite on both the offensive and defensive ends. Now, Lowry. Seven foot shot. Oh, no dice. He pushed him. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Harold. That doesn't and make sense. Look at the recent power rankings. Some interesting stories here in the early part of December. You look at the Raptors. They couldn't hold their position this week, but remain in the top ten. And when you look at Los Angeles, they're rolling. And, and we expect. Oh, the got it. There you go. The chemistry is there. Run it, Kawhi. And, and so is the unrivaled production. Oh, Here's God. Leonard. It's okay. We got it. Takes it in for the Kawhi up wouldn't up run. I don't know why he didn't. Leonard's got five. That would have been a perfect dunk, bro. You talk bro. about the best two-way player in the NBA. I think a lot of people, Doris, would put Kawhi Leonard at the top of that list. Let's remember, Kawhi's a former defensive player. Look at that defense. Breakdown. Despite all. Okay, 2K. Thanks. He doesn't necessarily wow you with his eye-popping athleticism. Money. Is Beautiful. Kawhi Leonard is a multi-time champion. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy oh, get that block out of here, man. Beautiful. Don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. That's deep. Ah, oh, so good. Shot by Quinn, no good. I thought I had difficult 12. shot. Do I have difficult shots? Gold. 
That should help. Johnson kicks to Powell. Out to the wing. Pass to Gasol. Back to Lowry. Five to shoot. Three pointer. Again, the miss by Lowry. I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him. And the foul called oh. Kawhi Leonard. That's his first foul. You simply must play better I still got the three, that. though. It's too good from distance. Looking at Los Angeles, they took the win in their last game against the Pacers in Indiana. Johnson outside. It's Powell on the wing. Over Williams. The shot oh, that was my, no good. Went to the claw. And here are the Clippers. They're on a 16 to 6 run. Oh, I went behind Gasol. Wow. That's impressive. By Paul George. This guy is tearing up the defense. And here's Lowry. Six points for him. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Ah, I found Empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce? I think quickness has probably never been more important in the NBA, but you cannot overlook the value of strength. Think about a guy like Kyle Lowry. He's not the biggest, he's not the most explosive, but he's got strength and he's got that bulldog mentality. Lowry brings the double. Quinn passes to Leonard. Here's Quinn. Oh, if it's easy. Got it back, though. Loads it up there for Harold. There you go, I'll Takes take it. Alley pass and dunks it down. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley -oop. Yeah, the, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. And Kyle Lauridor is never shy about contact. You're right, Kevin. Never shy on either end, offensively or defensively. Kyle Lowry will get into you. He is the tone setter with his physicality and his effort level. Clippers leading by 13. Here's Come Quinn. on, where's the D? There you and go. The layup is good. Quinn's got 13 points in just this quarter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Lowry kicks to Johnson. I'm like all Bucket over with the steals. Leonard. I'm being very aggressive today. Now here's Paul. Defense is right there. His three pointers off the mark. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Goes up again. Fouled on the shot. Nice Picks job. Two points. So one free throw coming up. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Siakam is checked in for a bucket. And OG Ananobi subbed in for Stanley Johnson. Landry Shamit checked in for the Clippers. An extraordinary improvement over the course of his career by Kawhi Leonard. He has now turned himself into oh, I left him. best, if not the best, two-way player. Clippers leading by 16. Quinn passes to George. A three-point oh. good. Try to get a steal there. Them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Powell kicks to Lowry. Oh, I left him. And but he was on the line, so. Range. Last outing for the Clippers, they won that game against the Pacers. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. Oh, I don't want him. Road, having to manufacture points. Well, how about the job they Damn. got from their bench? That productivity was a major part of the outcome. Four on the clock. Oh, Leonard in oh, position. He got off. Oh. hit that one. A little First off for him. By 16. I think the setup wow, pass wasn't clear enough. Lowry. Oh, I'm right there. It's Lowry again missing. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to Oh, man. Through. I wasn't trying to lot or float it. Powell dishes to Lowry. Puts up a three. Buries it from three He finally eight. made one. Lowry's got 14. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Leonard. Why? 
the shot's good. All right. And the Clippers lead by 15. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Five Sorry, seconds I was dreaming. separating the shot and game clocks. Now, oh, here is Siakam. He's oh, he lost it. Quinn. Kawhi. Oh. Wow. Uh, Kawhi Leonard might be quiet off the court, but on the court, he makes a lot of noise. Man, I'm just sleeping. Well, we can't get it to go. Here's Quinn. That's a floater go. Uh, and the last second attempt does not go in for him. That's and too bad. So it's Los Angeles. Those last second Out shots are always the best. 17 points at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks so much. Kawhi, you seem to be so at ease out there. How much? Thanks, David. And we'll Sorry, be back bud. shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Well, I'm ready for it, man. Playing really well. Hopefully, we can. I want to try and get a triple double tonight. We have a bunch us, of like we'll find out if this game becomes uh, the rebounds. To be. Really, an incredible game. Steals. Bunch Ooh. of everything. That first half looked like a dunk contest mixtape was just destroying the rim. Yeah, this guy he plays fast, he's aggressive, and if you let him get to the cup, there is nothing that you can do about it. Look at that See defense. That power forward with Gasol at center. Lowry and Powell, the guards. And it's Johnson in at the three, the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And here is Los Angeles. Why, why would you pass it back? The miss by Kyle Lowry. There you go. Oh, the a law might have been better, Leonard. but it's still well, good. Almost effortless there from Kawhi Leonard. The reach and leaping ability. Look out. Pass to Powell. Back to Lowry. The tray. No. Oh, I was in his face, too. Lowry's got 17 now. That's a layup for him. He's just too open. And last yeah, how is he open? Ever. NBA Finals for the Toronto Raptors. What a tremendous run, Greg. Think about it. In the Eastern Conference Finals, oh, nice. go down High percentage. before winning four straight to close out the Bucks. And forget about the city of Toronto. The entire country of Canada was on fire for Raptors basketball. And how do they reward them? NBA championship. Los Angeles leading by 18. Come on, boy. Quinn kicks to Williams. Pop it. Pass to Quinn. Over Lowry. Oh, I messed it up. I, I thought I was flipping or spinning outward. Since starting the second half. Leonard against Johnson. Man, look at that defense, though. Great D that time from Quinn. Now the dish to Williams. Oh, down that was points. pretty. Wow, how did he get that off? Six. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, Oops. no wonder you're losing. Uh, Greg, to me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Oh, I got in there, but it didn't matter. Well, you love to see Siakam get going. This guy for the is call. so good at getting to his spots and converting. Lowry brings the double. Triple team, bro. The pass to Harold. We doing another double team? Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Well, he's all over me. Outside, George. There's the feed to Quinn. Over Lowry. That's deep. Misses off the right. I eye. couldn't get anything going there. Here's trail by 18. Pass to Johnson. Back to Powell. Right side, Lowry. Two points. Oh, I didn't even bother jumping. I thought sometimes the reach animation does a little something for you. This guy combines crafty moves and an effective shot to attack defense. Kyle Lowry cooked. Oh, I tried to dunk it. Not to be. Good play defensively. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Off target from three point range. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They led the game at one point. Oh, what happened there? Still got it. Good. Quinn's got 29. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. 
Williams against Powell. Now here's Johnson. He's guarded closely. And the rejection by Harold. And they're pushing it. Run up. it. Oh, what a step back. Teardrop yep. shot. Quinn. That good. was nice. Quinn's got 31. Boy, that open look set up by Kawhi Leonard. That's probably the most underrated aspect of his game. Toronto calls timeout. Boy, when you look at the numbers and the impact for Paul George, there is no question he's been in the MVP conversation. The outside shooting, the ability to attack the rim, and the force he is on the defensive end on, is so impressive. And some changes here for the Raptors. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for... All right, well, I need a rest. I was getting kind of tired. You can tell my game is slowing down a little bit. So, we'll see how it goes. Oh, come on, skip. My bad. Sorry, guys. I didn't, didn't sim it. Forty-four seconds left in the third. Really, not much time. Siakam passes to Lowry. Back to Siakam. And oh, why are you Siakam leaving him? Throws it down. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this. One. Yeah, but this run started that is with money. execution at both ends, and and that'll need to be wow. maintained for them to have a chance to take the lead. The Raptors shooting 35 percent or so in the third quarter. Oh, stripped it. Whatever they're trying is not working. Damn it, Lowry. Here's Quinn. While recovering, pass to Leonard. To the middle, here's Quinn. Yeah, it ended up working out anyway. Well, primarily known as a scorer, Kawhi Leonard using his playmaking skills to set up his teammates there. Lowry from deep three-point line. Deep. Can't connect from long distance. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers. Man, that was still pretty Kawhi aggressive, though. I, I'm, I'm happy with that, honestly. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. All right, let's see what we can do in this quarter, man. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy no D. of Gatorade. Oh, was that quarter. goaltending? Taking a look at Los Angeles. We've got Kawhi Leonard. It's Kevin Gellian at the four-man position. Now here's Payne after the miss from Quinn. The steal. There you go. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Oh, he drops it. And that's a turnover on my part. Okay. Gasol on the high post. Rebound my board. by Quinn. Now here's Harold. Quinn. There you good. go. Quinn's got 10 points here in the second half. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Oh, Strep, get it. Oh, that's so frustrating. Just pick it up. Give me that other steal. The dish to Gasol, and they pick up two. I'm so mad well, about that. There's been, this, this been a couple opportunities where it should have been a steal. From them. Over to the left wing. Come on, Kevin. Kevin Gelly. Ah. Boucher with the rebound. Boy, he really wanted that shot, trying to make the defense pay for leaving him that wide open. Here's Payne of Gasol. Now the gas man's been dropping it. In 11 tries. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive. Really steady from the field. To the inside. And down All the day. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. You know, he's flat fueling their success. Most of the offense is feeling good him. out there, man. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Ooh, almost got it. Kicks to See, I'm trying to. Over Harrell, and there's I'm trying to like get in traffic Payne. and reach. Payne's got three assists now in this one. Clippers have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Yep, that Too one good. goes. Quinn's got 41. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Doris, do you think it's more challenging for superstars in smaller markets, mid-sized markets? Oh, yeah, this man. This is such an interesting debate in a world that has become, because of social media, so much smaller. 
You know, I do think that certain larger markets, L.A., New York, can be a blessing and a curse. It does still feel like that media scrutiny is a little bit larger. When things are going well, it's the best thing in the world. When things aren't going so well, boy, those day-by-day day, question after question can Gotta wait till I call for it. pretty tedious. Here's Quinn. Just Look at that. Two and a half just walking by him. Here in the fourth. Lays it up and banks it in. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Davis looking for an opening. Worse in basketball, like many sports, you can call some kind of penalty on almost every play. So with that in mind, uh, where do we draw that line? I would say that most coaches and most players would say as long as there's consistency with officiating, they can adapt to the way the game is being called. As fans, as broadcasters, what we want to see, we want to see the wow. game. Wow. There we go. I was waiting on that. Pretty, the ability to move and cut and not be impeded in your progress. That's that can make I a big difference. See. And we see that most nights. No doubt. Here's Payne. The Clippers get in the bucket. Passes it to Gasol. Here's Boucher. Like at six. Just the trying to be aggressive. I want to try and get Boucher, like got his be aggressive enough points. where you can get the steals. They double him with pain. Quinn passes to Harrell. Count that one. And Too nice. Really keeping the ball, hopping around here offensively. It's quiet in here, man. Played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Davis kicks to Gasol. Back to Davis. Damn it. Good ball movement here by the ref. And Gasol with the dunk. Yeah, Mark Gasol has a complete game, and he's got everything working right now. Down low. Here's Harrell. The lead pass was Easy. put in. Just They're leaving the all these spots. guys open, man. What Harrell's do you want? Got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. Oh and man, that was a hard screen. On him for that, Greg. He My board. He's a tone setter, extremely unselfish. And it gets contact and the whistle on the shot. I'm trying to make it as much as I can. Up. And there's the foul. It's called on Toronto. You can see the kind of savvy Kawhi Leonard plays with. This guy makes the defense commit and gets himself to the foul Easy. line. Los Angeles making a switch here. Murray's checked in. Dwarfs, when you look at draft eligibility requirements, it is a very fluid topic with a lot of different ways it could go, a lot of moving parts. Where do you stand? I'll tell you the truth, Kevin. I, I'm conflicted about this because I believe there is real value to the college experience. There's high-level coaching across the game at the collegiate level, uh, but I also believe that young men who have talent should be able to, when they are eligible, decide when they want to nice. become professionals. So, Listen, I'm sort of in the middle. There are legitimate arguments to be had for both sides. What I hope, regardless, is we get the best players in the league, and that's certainly going to happen whenever it happens. Davis gets a wide open look, and a miss there on the triple. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Here's Quinn. That's good. Wow. Leonard with that was assist. awesome. One more point to get that 50. Leonard's got four assists in the game. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love, Greg, is the energy they're matter. playing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. And, and when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do. Easy, man. I'm, I'm on good. fire. And I'm just chucking stuff up. I'm not even trying. Just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Payne. Free throw line jump shot. They get it again. Leonard trying to break free. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass getting it done. Great quarter for him at the offensive end trying to will his team back in the game. Here's Quinn. Oh my god. That's so filthy. Basket. And he's been dominant. Oh, I'm difficult here silver. I was gonna get gold. The offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. Oh, stripped it. Now grab it. 
and we're going to have a jump ball. See, that's annoying there. because I'm Doris, having a lot of steals. Isn't it that we're seeing oh, wow. some teams with more three-point attempts than two-point attempts? It's incredible, Kevin. I'm not very good at these. Over the last decade, you see more three-point attempts across Ooh. all 30 NBA teams. And think about the Houston Rockets. And each of that is years, dirty. Oh, my. More threes <laughs> that was so filthy. This is the evolution of the game. It is not oh, going man. anywhere. There's two high-value Asserting my dominance. Restricted area twos. That means point-blank opportunities at the rim and three-point shots. And everything else in between seems to be getting lost. And Toronto has possession after the Clippers pick up two. Here's Boucher, guarded by Quinn. Oh, he waited. Shots good by Smart Boucher. Move. And Los Angeles guys, uh, shooting has been just outrageous. 64% from the field to this point. Quinn, good. That's a rocket. <laughs> just keep and laying them on. Has his name written all over it. Greg, he's Love been him. phenomenal in offensive onslaught. Here's the teardrop. Controls a little put back. The rebound and puts it back up and in. Boucher's got six points in the quarter. Oh, how about the deaf touch right there, guys? He it's so easy. They don't even try. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Oh, nice there. Getting the it's reverse. like they're getting bored. Love that. And, and the fans got a little bit of a show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. Here's McCall after the basket by Los Angeles. Feeds it to Gasol. Gasol is double. Five on the clock. Here's Davis. Connects on the foul line jumper. Davis. Davis has got his first basket of the night. Here's the Clippers. Floats it up for Murray. Oh, what was that? Away. Nice job to interrupt the alley -oop That was a weird animation. Davis, the pass to Gasol. Pokes I'll strip away. it. Did I get it? I got it. His That's my seventh steal. Has been off the charts. Swiping the ball away with just oh. such ease. And it's out of bounds. No one was running the floor. That was just frustrating. So I had seven. I probably would have had ten steals. Had the ones that should have gone. At least at least not. No, I think I would have had ten. Anyway, they subbed Six me out. Six seconds left to play here in the fourth. So the Clippers winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. the game and just completely took the crowd out of it. Damn. One more game, we're going to have that finishing badge up. I know it. And the, the new points as well. A lot of extra VC for that game, for sure. Hey, Kenny. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to skip it. What happened? Hey, got a minute. Need you for some media stuff. All right. I'll see you in a... All right. All right. That was weird. Usually they ask you a question. They didn't let me ask I'd a like question. I'd like to get to know the off-court Che a little bit. All right. So what do you like to do when you're not playing basketball? Do you have any hobbies? I have a lot of them. But he doesn't. So why lie about that? Whatever. Let's see. I like you gotta dogs. love dogs. I mean, I love dogs. I got a German Shepherd and a Rottweiler. And I'm actually hoping to adopt a Burmese Mountain Dog in the offseason. Uh, those are some pretty big dogs. You got room for all of them? Hey, you know how we do, Ted. I got a whole wing for each dog. So that's not a problem at all. The more, the merrier. I'll just get another wing. It's kind of cocky. That's kind of dumb. Anyway, that was kind of weird. Uh, I'm surprised that we, we haven't had anything yet.
Normally there's something for each uh, each game, but anyway, that's gonna be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, sure to like, follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash danq8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, danq8000, Instagram, danq8000, and Snapchat, danq8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. You want to say 10% of your next DX racer, link in the description. Sure to use promo code danq8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content, but until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. So back, yeah, give me that bow in your lane like a trap train. Give me that ah, hell nah, they ain't running like this. I'm a marathon bitch, man, the errors line act like a rock. We ain't moving, you know me, been chilling at the top. This the type of feel you only feel it when you hide. NBA 2K on the dot. Drop it.